So my uncle, one day he went to village. And when he went to village, he said uh, a lady of the local community came to the house and she said, I have a big problem with my husband. Every time my husband comes home, he's arguing with me. He's always saying bad things to me. I'm fed up, I'm having enough. Can you please write me a taweez? And my uncle is the furthest person from someone to be able to write anything, never mind a taweez. So he said, of course, come to the right guy. So he takes out some scrap piece of paper from his pocket, gets a pen and he writes something on there, folds it up very nicely. And he says, well, listen, this is only going to work if you listen to what I say, yeah? She goes, okay. He said, when your husband comes home, you take this, you put it in the back of your teeth and you bite as hard as you can. He says, yeah, that's it, yeah, that's it. Watch, Allah is going to help you, inshallah. So she goes, one week later, she comes back smiling, saying, Alhamdulillah, husband is a changed man after this. And she goes, why have you come then? I've come because my sister's got the same problem and she needs a taweez as well. Point of the story, sounds very amusing, but the reality is we don't understand what our problem in life really is. We don't identify it. This is where if you want to become a better person, إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهِ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٍ as a Muslim, you have to be prepared to have your open heart surgery done, spiritually obviously. You need to be able to be prepared to take criticism from other people. You know, this was one of the hardest things when I was studying, I remember that one of the hardest things was when you have to listen to what your teacher says and you have to take the criticism. It's a very difficult bullet to bite like they say.